<laughs> focus. Focus. In your character. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new and you clicked on this because it said blind recipe challenge. So for the last video of my happy holidays studio vlogs, we're actually doing a blind recipe in which I summon the ingredients for some sugar cookies, but I'm going to mix them all together blindfolded and also not knowing the proportions. So this can go terribly, pretty much. I don't think it's gonna go well. I think it's probably gonna go bad. We have our handy dandy ears to keep our hair back. I have my Christmas sweater, Mishi Mickey, because Disney represent. We're also wearing our Christmas uh, apron. Enjoy the chaos that's about to happen. I was gonna give myself like a minute to read the recipe and try to remember, try to memorize it and then like create it from there. But uh, no, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna dive right into it and embrace the chaos. All right, you may begin the filming, sir. Yes. Um, where's your sheet so when you pop them down for me? That comes after the whole mixing. I need a spoon. This is the spoon. Mm -hmm. You can't help me. I will suffer on my own. Thank you. All right. On our table again. All right, perfect. All right. So first, we usually mix the wet stuff, the egg, the vanilla, and the sugar. So I put the egg in the cup, there's the egg. So, uh, good thing we're the ones eating this because I don't know if there's a shell in there. It's fine, everything is fine. I just... Okay, so I got the egg in. I need like the little baking soda stuff. Small. Sure. I guess I'm making a half batch. There's a lot of vanilla. <laughs> well, vanilla is great. It's my favorite flavor. I think. The big flavor. What is this top situation? And okay, we're gonna want one of these. And everybody knows baking is an exact art. I am not exact. My art is far from it. And last, I need to get all the sugar in here. Okay. Sugar is in here. It's usually like a lot of sugar. Is it four cups flour, two cups sugar? So we're just gonna do one cup sugar. Smells like sugar. I need to do the butter. 
Sounds like a good glorp mix there, though. Alright, we'll come back to this. We gotta put the butter. Oh, butter stick, butter stick. It's not still hot. So we need to melt it. I guess you need to film the light. Yeah. That's fair. The camera needs the light. Popcorn is the top button. I can't even like feel the buttons on these. Uh, but three is gonna be on this side. Start. That's not start. That's a timer or something light. Uh, why can't I feel the buttons? Three. I hit something. I'm just gonna count. This is a very effective blindfold, though. It just squishes my nose. Hope it's melted because we're not doing that again. So this is really the main base of the cookie. It's probably very buttery, so maybe it's going to be more of a butter cookie. Who knows? Um, but we're going to put two cups of flour, mix it up, see what the viscosity turns into. Placing like that, uh, what's that thing? The sand dough, play doh sand. Is it too? Is it too sandy though? Is it too sandy? I should taste it. I could eat that. I don't want a little fish. It tastes good. It tastes like um, those white powder cookies, like a, like the real sugary buttery ones. I think we are in a good spot. Um, preheating the oven. Well, once I get them in the oven, I can take the blindfold off. So if I see like I'm gonna start a fire, Prevent that. Okay. So I realized how shallow these buttons are. Bake. 
next one we get has that real buttons. Because usually it starts baking at 350. So it should be preheating the 350. Copper sheets are freaking awesome. Not sponsored, never will be sponsored. But if you guys bake, I would definitely recommend getting the copper sheets. I'm gonna try to lay out 12 little balls. Thank you. I guess I did it wrong. What did I do? Broil. <laughs> Broiling some cookies today. Well, seems like we have stuff in that broiler. That's, yeah, yeah, that's we, I, there was a pre-agreement. Anything involving the oven could be corrected, since that is kind of a safety, safety, safety concern. Besides, this is only part one. And if this turns out well, which I think the uh, mix has turned out pretty darn good, uh, I don't know how they'll bake. If they bake well. Then we go into part two. See this one? I don't think you've had any more cookies. Not in my cookies. Not in my cookies. No sorry, Bob. These are all natural sugar and flour and eggs. Oops. Vanilla. Yeah, you might be this one. No! Maybe oil is just for like cake and brownies. Well, you guys can't even see my dough balls from there. That's what it's for. You can see my dough balls as I lay them down. up close and personal uh, so yeah if you guys are watching let me know in the comments what your favorite holiday cookie of choice is this is a cookie episode if you're not a cookie person what are you doing with your life what are you doing do you have a favorite cookie are you just not gonna talk about it you can talk give me some back and forth I'm not sure what my favorite cookie is. The nutmeg logs are probably up there, cause, but I think that is not all of them. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, we can get three more on there. We can get three more, so we get 15 balls of dough, and then hopefully the oven will be preheated, and we can pop them in and see what sort of mess I made. Just gonna be a little bit of extra cookie dough, which is fine. Could we have mixed it more? Should we have mixed it more? All right, 15 balls of dough. Put it near the oven. And then we wait, because it should be pretty close to preheating if it was only at 315. There's nothing on this side. Nope, and now we wait. We're not quite ready to go in yet, so we're going to be good adults and clean up some of our uh, instruments here. Uh huh. Where did the little scoopy loopers go? Now a little bit for guiding. Back and get those. So good. The flour wasn't in the bag. Flour doesn't. Look at that. We have all that time and we can clean up because I didn't preheat the oven first.
right. Final moment of truth. Toaster. Toaster business. So we're gonna put them on the top rack. Where's the top of the oven? Check the edges. There's about the middle. And we're gonna attempt to set the timer. And see if we get this right, I'll fix it if I'm wrong because that's kind of a Where were the timer buttons? The timer's on this side of the clock. That's the edge of it. That doesn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Cameraman, timer please! I'm not even hitting anything and I don't want to turn it off after I just got it preheated. Because there's the cancel button so I know not to go down there. <laughs> Is that timer? No. Is this timer? No. Am I close? A little bit. Eh? Closer. Right there. And then arrow. Arrow? No. Arrow. No. Arrow. 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 It's right next to the timer. Here? A little bit. Here? Wrong Here? There you go. Does it make sound when it does numbers? No, it doesn't. Oh. Um, You're not pressing it. Back over to the right. This way? Yes. No, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Fail. Did you do it? Is it done? Yeah. Is it done? Can I take the mask off? Mask off. I'm coming, guys. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Is so blurry right now. Hashtag don't get LASIK and put an eye mask on. Okay, guys, I'll see you in part two. Bye. They're poofy. Maybe they'll settle. They are also not evenly placed. That's okay. That's okay. All right, taste test. Cheers. They're hard. <laughs> oh, they're not hard, they're dense. They're, they're dense. Didn't quite flatten. But we, first thoughts? It's a sugar biscuit. The sugar biscuit. Okay, it's a sugar biscuit. Taste test. It's definitely thicker than your like typical cookie. And I wouldn't say it's gooey, but it's soft on the inside. Nice and not quite hard, but solid on the outside. Like, you got some squish to it. I think the flavor is nice and light, like for somebody who likes vanilla. Um, it's a nice, simple treat without being like too sweet or anything, but they're not good for icing, like a regular sugar cookie. So I prepared a backup plan and got some gingerbread cookie dough. This is already obviously made up. You just gotta like put it on the sheet. So I'm going to do that and I got a couple cookie cutters for part two where I will probably do it live. Have not decided yet. Um, or I might film it. Who knows? We'll see. Might do a little bit of both. Um, and I will do a blind decorating with icing. So that's what we're going to do with this later. But for now, I put it down and where did it go? Is this it? Yep, that's it. I'd say that was a success. Thanks again for watching. And if you haven't already, feel free to like, comment your favorite cookie below. Uh, subscribe for more shenanigans. And join us on Monday evenings, usually at 8 p.m. Eastern for Creative Commons, where we do productivity sprints and hang out. Some days are more productive than others, but come and join and see what it's like. And have a happy holiday or a happy new year.